Welcome to Lisbon, Portugal's capital city. Today we'll head out for a day of street photography and see what we can capture. It's going to be more like two half days as opposed to one full day because now it's already midday. So I'm going to go out today and tomorrow. But that's also going to give us the opportunity to try different approaches. We're going to explore the area of Chiado, which is in the city center of Lisbon and is also one of the busiest and also the oldest areas. The camera that I'm using today is the Leica Q, um, which is one of my favorite cameras ever. I've had it for a while and yeah, I think for street it's a great choice. This is the main street where all the popular shops are. Um, we're gonna stay here and do some run gun type of shots and always stay on the move. Now I'm spotting this guy who has a newspaper in his hand, which nowadays is a bit unusual, so I try to take his photo. Not entirely sure what I was looking for here, but I think it was mostly some kind of test shot to get one. Here I saw the reflection of the facade in the car's window, but yeah, it didn't really turn out. Sometimes I also plan shots in advance. If there's an interesting scene with good lighting, but maybe not the right subject, I would just stick around and see if something worth a photo happens in the next few minutes. I found this patch of light that shines through the arc, and this is where I'm gonna stay for a while and see if I can get a good photo.
the action cam wasn't running the whole time, but here's a few more photos that I took between takes. Another reflection that I found. I wish the bar in the middle wasn't so wide, but other than that I like the setup. Now, one thing that I can really take away from these two days of shooting is how I feel about the two approaches that I took and the results that I achieved. Um, first I was constantly on the move, seeing what I can find and that resulted in a lot of pictures that had like a lot of different people, a lot of, a lot of different settings, um, scenes in it, which is really cool because it's a bit more of a versatile set of pictures, but they were a bit more chaotic in terms of composition. On the other hand, I also tried to see what I could achieve um, when I stuck around in one spot and waited if something cool would happen with the background and everything already set. And I think in general, like always being on the move is a lot of fun, but if you're after more cleaner compositions um, and if you find a good spot where, where you think that has a lot of potential, which I often do, you can achieve cleaner pictures that I'm I would be often more happy with just by sticking around for a bit and yeah, waiting for the right person to enter the scene. I think that's it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments if you have feedback or any topics that you would like me to cover and yeah, see you soon.